Join us right now for the Coyote Kitchen. And this here is Coyote speaking. You know, after I got back after the John Bowley tour and uh, moving around the country like I did, world tours here and there, I had to eat out a whole lot. And I formed some opinions on some of their recipes, and I brought them right back here to share with you in the Coyote Kitchen. Now, this next recipe actually helped make Hooters famous. Well, it, it kind of did anyway. It's Hooters Buffalo Grilled Shrimp, which is a misnomer because these puppies never see a grill. So here's episode 23. <laughs> Shrimp without gill. Hey, talented fella. There's all kinds of talent on this planet, oi. You know, uh, we're going to deep fry some nice big old shrimp today. My best brother in law convinced me to go out and we're going to get our own shrimp, he said. Save a little bit of money, get some nice keepers. So we rent a boat and we get out there in the water and we start pulling in some shrimp. I couldn't believe it. We're just like in that uh, gump movie or something. So we're hauling them in and he says, We got to remember this spot. You come back here and get some old shrimp. So he makes an X on the side of the boat. I said, that don't make any sense. This here's a real boat. How are we going to know we get the same boat? Anyway, we're going to deep fry these shrimp in some oil. I like that extra virgin olive oil. There, that, but you know, this here is a Hooters recipe. So maybe we just use some of this good old vegetable oil. Anyway, I think you get my drift there. It is, you get you a little pot here, and you got, a, oh, a half a stick of butter. You're going to put that butter into the pot, and you're going to fill up about a half cup of Louisiana hot sauce. This is the stuff to use right here. You're going to tap in a little bit of paprika. Just a couple of taps, a little salt and pepper. Gonna mix all that up. It's gonna be fine. All right, now we're getting down to the good part. First thing we're gonna do is take this here butter and put it right in the little pot. Now we're gonna pepper it. Pepper it nice. We're gonna salt it. Salt it real good. We're gonna put in some nice garlic salt. And here's the secret to the whole thing. Three taps. Three taps this time of paprika. Paprika, if you're out there and wondering what that was. You don't heat it all up yet. Half cup of that sauce right in there. That looks like more of a full cup. But you know I'm not particularly if you're not. Okay, we heat that up. We stir that up. And we're going to put our wings in there once they are deep fried. Now this is a real trick. You want to take a couple of big old spoons of cottage cheese and put them in a little bowl with an egg. Now what you want to do is swill that all together. We're going to take these guys one at a time and slosh them through there. That's your binder, alright? You throw them in, going to pick up that flour and let them rest in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes is all, okay? If the refrigerator was lift off, then here comes splashdown. Are oh, they looking good now? You're gonna let them go about five minutes to 10 minutes, no matter how big they are. You gotta look at the tails, and when the tails start to turn brown, well, these guys are ready to rumble. Let them just drain a little bit here on your paper products. Okay, here comes the magic part. We got ourselves a container with that sauce there, that lovely Hooter Shrimp Without Guilt sauce. We're going to throw them right in now. Remember, they are hot. See what I'm up to here? Now, look at that. Well, 
Once over is just about all you're going to need. I'm a twice over kind of guy, though. Nice little plate here, a bed of arugula. It's not that I like arugula that much, but I do like saying the word. Sounds like what the Marines say when they get all hepped up, you know, and greet one another and so forth, say hello to the president. We got our shrimp without dill coming out here. I like a little bit of key limes with mine. Everybody gets a little bit of squeeze, you know. It's like a spin the bottle party. And uh, this is broccolini. Now, that's a hybrid. They made it uh, out of broccoli and, uh, I think, soda straws. But here you have... Hooters Buffalo Grilled Shrimp. This here been the Coyote in the Coyote Kitchen. Okay. <laughs> This is the coyote in the coyote kitchen. Now this season already, we've been having a little fun with Hooters. We did that buffalo grilled shrimp. This stuff is aromatic, and it is gorgeous, and I'm going to have me a little of it as soon as I'm through talking. Now, later on this season, we're going to get in with the Olive Garden chocolate lasagna. We're going to do Hard Rock Cafe pig sandwich, which reminds me of the store and I can't use it. And the Cheesecake Factory is white chocolate raspberry truffle. Now that's raspberry if you're from Europe, but of course you're probably not. Anyway, these aren't the exact recipes because we don't want to get in trouble, but you know what? They're close enough for the Coyote Kitchen. Do me.